Here's at the field for the uh, sixth race. Pacing stallions and geldings. Racing a mile approach of $2,000. The one is Simcoe Lane. Over Calvin Lamb and Marion. Bob Barnett drives. Two is Caveman Chris. Owned by Harold Wood of Hamilton for Kelly Shepard. Three is Applaudable. Owned by Barbara Mitchell of Vienna for Brent Holland. Number four, Pleasing Kip. Owned by Donnelly Hensler of Hamilton with Dave Miller. Five, CBT on by Bruce Salisbury and Tony Wire of Dublin, Jeff Fout driving. Number six, Kenny Brook, by Joanne Miller of Miamisburg for Sam Coven. Seven horse won't back down. Owned by Susan and Philip James of Hamilton, Scott McQuinn aboard. Number eight, Pass the Torch, owned by Fred Everhart and James Everhart of Ohio. Drivers change, Keith Haynes. Haynes. The line won't be denied, owned by Mary Charles of Kettering, Terry Groves in the Sonkey. One place show, perfect the trifecta wager. Sixth race pacing, stallions and gildags all lined up behind the gate. They're on the back stretch and nearing the start. They're off and uh, pacing, and from mid track, it's Sia BT for the lead, pleasing Kip alongside. Sim Colleen fires off the rail third from the outside of fourth. Won't back down to the inside of five. Caveman Chris. Three lengths sixth of Plotable to the inside. Two lengths seventh. Kenny Brook. On the bill eighth. It's past the torch. Won't be denied. Trails ninth. Even the first quarter. And Miller has pleasing Kip on the front here. Leading by a length. Sim Colleen gets the garden spot seat second. 27 and four. And a quick opening quarter. See a BT still parked to the outside. Now wants to take the lead and see a BT. Powers to the front end. Pleasing Kip yelling for the cover second. Won't back down is now left and cover to the outside and Simcoe Lane quickly tags that cover second or fourth. Caveman Chris drops to the inside to save ground five. To the outside six comes applaudable. Kenny Brook is saving ground a seventh as they reach the half and 57 and one. Off the turn and out of the back stretch and with the lead see a BT leading by a neck. Alongside racing a second, it's won't back down. To the outside, Sim Lane swinging three wide now as they fired on the back stretch. Sim Lane swinging three wide, making his bid for the lead. Pleasing Kip is still down to the inside, locked in fourth. Applaudable gapping cover to the outside is five. Caveman Chris is buried sixth. Three quarters, one, 26 and four, the three across. CBT with the shortest route. On the outside, Sim Lane grinding it down is second. But pleasing Kip yet to pull off the inside is third as they turn for home now. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Sim Lane takes the lead away from Sia BT. Pleasing Kip pulls the pocket. A plot to the outside and Kennebrook closing quickly. But it's Sim Lane at the wire. Sixth race, official. 1 5 perfect to $22 even. $22. 1 5 4 trifecta, $75. 40 cents, 75 40. Here is the official winner, the one Simcoe Lane, a five year old son of Simcoe Hanover from Ambient. The new owner, Kelvin Lamb of Marion, Bob Barnett, the trainer and driver. Simcoe Lane claimed last week, recording his second season's victory, 157 1 5th. 